if you are new here, I'm Kanisi, and if you're already watching this channel, welcome back. Today we are going to watch 22nd episode of Anime Durara, so let's get to it, let's go! Alright, <laughs> let's see, we have four more episodes left, I think actually like in the, in the season. Mm, so, probably, yeah, <laughs> that's going to be some kind of climax soon. In any case, I think... As I said, we are kind of in Kida's arc. My favorite part. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, and I think his arc is probably coming to a climax now. Actually, Saki isn't really participating that much in the story, I'm thinking about it. She's more like mm, a parallel here. Uh, working as this reference point that we have that like this kind of story has happened to Kida and now it's kind of the history kind of repeating itself with Anri and now Anri is in huge trouble she was already captured by these dudes I, I wrote down his name wait hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he he got her. Ah, right, yeah, I wrote him down. Harada, blonde delinquent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so um, and he was in um, blue squares before, and now he's in yellow scarf. That was like, I think the uh, the idea, the main speculation. I don't think it was explicitly said. I, I took a small br break, can you tell, between these episodes, just reminding myself what has happened. So, yeah, he noticed Andre and he thought, like, glasses, check, breasts, check, like, uniform, check. And now they have surrounded her. Okay, so she... Okay. She's just walking with them somewhere, as of now. <sighs> yeah, he's like a meteor. <laughs> that must be her. <laughs> no other girl fits in this description. <laughs> Now they've gone too far. Just beating people? Break up announcement. Interesting. Mm. Wasn't too far, but surrounding this girl is... Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. She, she's looking so closely <laughs> at his t-shirt. I guess because it's yellow, that's the idea. Well, she was fast, that was a nice distraction. Oh, I remember this girl, she was doing a questionnaire. I think that's the only time we ever saw her, actually. It was that questionnaire. But I guess since, like, she's also in dollars, and all dollars are here working together, helping her escape. So one was... Well, someone distracted them, then this girl... Yeah, dis distracted them, and... Yeah, I remember this dude as well. Oh, it's nice. We're kind of seeing some of the characters that we met for a little bit before. He was in that kidna kidnapping episode. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so all the dollars coming together and then little vase just helping her escape. He is very persistent. Oh, that is creepy. <laughs> well, I guess that's supposed to be cute, but I think they're kind of creepy. <laughs> I think I, I maybe mentioned before there is like a mascot like this on my way to the metro. Uh, well, not not like this, but you know, you get the idea. And I always kind of walk way around him. <laughs> I think that's kind of scary. He's just handing out flyers, you know. Ooh, nice. Oh, he's wait. Didn't he say he left dollars? Oh, so he changed his mind. Yeah. <laughs> Did she change now into the costume? Did that person like exchange costume with her? So she can hide better? Is this him? Yeah, now she can easier hide in the plain side. <laughs> it's kind of a fun episode. <laughs> I was thinking it's going to be something, you know, darker, scarier, anxiety-inducing. Oh, wait, that's the new door, right? <laughs> yeah, I was like... <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of dollars in this town, right? I bet, like, much more than yellow scarves. That is, that is pretty... They are pretty good at working as a team, like... Even though it's all kind of anonymous, mostly, I think. Kid is dead inside, <laughs> did you see that? Mm, so they just transported her to maybe to another side of the town. What? How? Dude, they drove her in a car somewhere away and this, some of these dudes are still here. Like, all of this is not enough? Oh, Kita found her. Not bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is she saying? <laughs> it was about my hand. <laughs> is this gonna make him happy that he finally managed to kind of save a girl from? I think this is kind of dead end, guys. <laughs> Not a good idea, to be honest. Go into an open space. <laughs> yeah, since you are also a yellow scarf, are you going to betray her? And say like, no, actually I... Specifically put you in the dead end where you can't run away anymore.
This, this kind of conversation where they are talking in uh, implications, not saying anything like outright. It is a bit confusing. Like, that, did he already make the connection that kind of she's a slasher? He's upset about it. And what did he mean by saying he, this? Like he's jealous that she spends better time with you. I'm like, <laughs> okay. They are pretty good at finding. Like, you have to give them that. Is she gonna use uh, Psycho on them? Yeah. I think she's upset after that strange conversation with Kida. So she decided to go to more drastic measures. I like how he has a lot of butterfly details on him. That, that, that's where you're going to place the bruises on. <coughs> <I'm sorry. coughs> Looks like he ended up in the right place at the right time. <laughs> yeah, but but kind of this the arc is not resolved yet. Still, they kind of scared them away, and she is saved by now. But. Now Celtic can just drive her home, I guess. Yeah. Bunny costume staying here on the floor, on the ground. <laughs> Yeah, but I guess this was a good moment for dollars. Of them kind of getting... Kind of, yeah, getting together and uh, getting more inspiration, I guess, more motivation and keeping the group more united. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like standing like this too, just chilling in the rain. That's that's not. What wasn't exciting enough? <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, I have the same thoughts. Like this is.
What, she isn't home? That was like, oh, I guess she is. Is this a school day? Is she late? <laughs> Ah, no, she's at their place. Because I don't... Uh, uh, we did see her home before. Did we? Or only in flashbacks. Yeah, I guess she brought her here. Maybe thought it would be safer for her to stay here. Instead of her home. Oh, sh so now she's chilling here? Okay. Somewhat. <laughs> Uh, maybe she thought friend is more personal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, this is a cool girl with violet hair. Also, I'm sorry, that, that, that pink pyjama, was it? Pink versus the dolls. Oh, he's held. That's some really nice design. Is it Celtic's pink pyjama? Yeah, that will look... Hmm, he touched something on his stomach. Maybe some previous wound that he received. Someone is being beaten up and this dude are just ending watching. This is like, guys, <laughs> wasn't he ins like inspired by them like bending together and I don't understand these people at all. <laughs> no. Maybe. But they are colorless already, don't don't they? Aren't they? <laughs> Has he gone completely insane? What the heck? You don't see it, but there are a lot of question marks like flowing around me. <laughs> like what? Why would he make dollars disappear? For what reason? He thinks that will stop something? I don't think it will stop yellow scarves from being violent, to be honest. They'll find just another reason to do so. That's Well, I'm not sure about Kida, that was a bit confusing. 
it felt like he was implying that you know Or is she gonna sell him out <laughs> as an organizer of dollars? He immediately starts conducting experiments as soon as she's out of the door. <laughs> I guess, yeah, the only idea I have is that maybe Rue thinks that if there's no dollars, there would be no yellow scarves violence. But I don't think so, I disagree. I, I, I guess that must be the reasoning. He thinks, okay, if dollars disband, then... What the fuck? Did they just shoot him? Ordered? I think that's a lie. He didn't order. That's Shizu, right? Holy crap, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> Is he gonna die? Did we ever actually have anyone die in this anime? I don't think so. He'll probably get in the hospital. I don't think he'd ordered to do it. I think he just stopped coming to the meetings and stopped, like, even doing anything. And now Harada is just acting as as he wants. We already saw in the scene that he is like a boss like giving out orders. So he kind of took that position. And the kid is just chilling. Do nothing. <laughs> okay. That was... A bit of a confusing episode like at first it was super fun and i thought okay this is like something positive uh, for the dollars it shows like how effective they can be how they can kind of come together as a team and help someone and so it will kind of um, give them more of a feeling of unity and power in a good way in a good sense, um, not sure how to say, um, say it, to be honest, but the idea is, I thought, okay, they're kind of going to get stronger as a group, and uh, that will leave, lead us somewhere, and I didn't expect that Rue would be like, at first, he, he used dollars to help Andre in that moment, and it was actually fruitful, I don't know, <laughs> I'm all out of words today, but then he goes home and be like, yeah, that was very nice, but now dollars should disappear. I was like, huh? Where's the logic is that, dude? And so, yeah, I was thinking, okay, so maybe he thinks if yellow scarves are so fixated on dollars and they're kind of going to continue pursuing them as long as dollars exist as a group, then, uh, like, it will be better if there are no dollars, like, they don't exist and it will stop it somehow. Maybe going by that one comment that said okay it means we will be truly colorless uh, maybe the idea is that if there is no like certain group uh, that is called dollars that everyone by themselves can just be like dollars not even calling themselves dollars but actually being completely colorless as as in in just being a person who tries to help other people um but at the same time i think there the chart really helped uh, well helping Andre, for example uh, having a place where they can all and they work with each other and if the idea is for them to just be like helpful to other people and i don't know nice and honorable uh then they kind of have to i don't know create their own groups or work one by one um yeah or in this kind of small group that we have with kahe and the others uh, so i guess now i have like several theories for his motivations and ideas i think um i feel like all of them are kind of flawed in my opinion um but uh, because at first I was like completely shocked like what the 
fuck he's doing but okay now i think i i have a few ideas why he could do that uh but yeah i kind of find holes in them and kida i think he's also upset because he maybe does have some kind of feelings towards Anri. He, he likes her, has a crush on her, I don't know, and he feels jealous that she's closer with Ryu, and he feels like um, Ryu is this kind of normal guy that is leading a normal life, and he might be kind of jealous of that as well, and that was kind of, I, their dialogue was so strange, it was like, what the heck is going on? Uh, they are talking in like those half phrases with only implications, I'm like, huh? Converse like normal, normal people, say things like, uh, uh, right, what are you talking about? <laughs> but I guess something like especially upset him in this uh, conversation, and uh, maybe he felt like also betrayed that Andre doesn't trust him enough to just I don't know come and talk to him and spies on him instead etc. I'm not really sure, but it seems like there was, there was some switch here where he just then after his she slapped him and she, he left and kind of decided to go back to in action, which I guess again could be a little of a parallel to his past, where it also was in action that he chose, but I think in that case it was pretty um, like clear that when person is really scared they can actually freeze up and it's just a natural reaction, but in this case he just chose to do nothing because of his like complicated feelings here, I think, uh, connected to Andre and Drew, uh, while uh, these two Andre and Drew are trying to do something, it seems. Um, but I have no idea how this conflict is going to be resolved. I assume we are going to learn more about Harada. He was touching like his stomach somewhere, so I think there must be some grudge towards dollars maybe because he's super interested really in dollars in uh, particular so maybe he kind of instigated the revival of yellow scars even though he must have been from the blue squares at first because he thought it would be a nice mechanism to get to the dollars and the organizer of the dollars so there must be some kind of so something that happened in the past, uh, but I feel like before the, that, the blue squares only had confrontations like with yellow scarves, so I would assume more like he had would have a grudge with one of them, and so he infiltrates this group and basically makes it his own now, by now, uh, to uh, take revenge on some, someone who was in yellow scarves, so connected to yellow scarves. Uh, so, um, I, yeah, I can't say what his motivations are yet, and that's why I'm thinking we're probably gonna learn more about him and uh, his backstory and um, ideas. Yeah, uh, and also I mentioned, I like how he has this, he has a butterfly tattoo on his arm and he has a butterfly on his shirt and as you might have noticed, I really like butterflies. It's actually not only on this wallpaper, I have another wallpaper there also with butterflies. I have like three different types of wallpaper in my room. And this is also, can I show you, made out of butterflies? <laughs> like I have them everywhere. And so I'm like, huh, this is kind of a nasty dude uh, that is really horrible, but he's wearing butterflies. Is this legal? <laughs> they are too cute for him. And so, yeah, we'll learn more about him, I think. And then through that, then we can actually, I think, build speculations on how this conflict is going to end, because we have to know what his motivation for doing this is, and I feel it's not just first for violence, there must be something uh, deeper there, and so once we learn what this is, then we can find an answer to this, like how to stop him, well, aside from putting him to jail. I think there was also an interesting turning point here near, near the end, but it feels like Shizuo was shot and there was a shit ton of blood coming out of him. And yeah, as I said, 
judging by the previous episodes, I don't think he's going to die. I think he's going like to the hospital or something. Uh, but I think uh, this might be also an important point that kind of changes the flow of events <laughs> some, <laughs> in some way. Okay. So I think that would be it for this episode. I'll watch the remaining ones. I'll probably watch them right away, right now, like in a batch, and then edit separately. So if you're going to comment something like about this episode, and then you watch my next reaction and it feels like I, I didn't take this comment into account, it's because, yeah, I'm just going to film it all in one day, and then I'm going to look at the comments, but still, like, also for people maybe who are watching along, um, if you want to, like, use, say some spoilers, put them maybe on a spoiler tag, or even better, let's just discuss this episode, so if you want to share your thoughts on this, please do so in the comments down below without spoilers, and that would be it for today, yeah, so thank you for watching and see ya. Mm -hmm.